Hello guys, welcome to Bit One Grade. Today, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about Golden Cross uh, for a Bybit exchange. Uh, I use this uh, Golden Cross model for uh, for Bybit, and I uh, I uploaded the uh, uh, live stream video. And uh, there there has been some uh, requests that uh, I, I talk about the. Uh, Python code that I use. So uh, this is the uh, golden cross. Actually, this is uh, there are many golden cross. So more specifically, this is a uh, moving average golden cross for a uh, five bit exchange. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, this is the. Uh, this is the uh, Python code that I use, and for this uh, Golden Cross model, uh, I'm going to use uh, some uh, libraries. Uh, first, first library is uh, pandas. Uh, then uh, daytime quest, time, uh, calendar, and uh, pybit, and, and in the daytime okay so uh you need to install this uh to begin this python call okay and uh for automated uh trading you need to input uh your api key and api secret key uh which you can get from uh private exchange okay so uh mine is above there I I hid it for uh to keep my privacy. And so if you're gonna use this code then uh you input your API key here uh under quote and API secret key here. Okay. Okay, so and uh for uh this uh this example I'm gonna to use the uh, uh, bit, uh, Bitcoin USD okay. and uh, if you want to apply this to other uh, ticker other product and you, you you change this part okay so if you want to test this on uh, ethereum then you put ETH USD okay. Uh, so this should not be uh, too complicated okay. and uh, mm, in this example I'm going to use a uh, one minute candle okay. so uh, the tick interval would be one okay. but uh, if you want to use it for other other minute then for example if you want to use it for five minutes then you change it to five okay or, or ten or thirty okay. And uh, this is the QT, QTY1 is the uh, quantity to be traded in USD. So if you, here I, I put uh, 200, so this will uh, uh, place an order of $200. Okay. And uh, if you want to test it on a smaller amount, then you put a smaller amount, uh, 10 or 100. Okay, it, it depends on your uh, situation. Okay, uh, actually, I want to put ten dollar. <laughs> okay, for test. Okay, and uh, if you want to run this uh program, uh, uh, it's a good idea to put it in infinite loop, which can be uh done by uh putting in while true command. Okay. Okay, so uh, here uh, by bit ticker is same as gimbal. Okay, and uh, I put a print command here to 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 check the which which pair I'm trading. Okay. Okay, so uh, here uh, I have a command for uh, time. The so time is necessary item because uh, because this is an important part. This is necessary part. 
to uh, request data from Bybit server. Okay, so uh, now we'll uh, uh, this this now a variable is defined as a time date dot UTC now. So uh, this will uh give you the time in uh UTC time zone. Okay, and we are going to change it into Unix time. Okay, uh, because uh Bybit used the uh, Unix time. And uh, I will define since as the uh, Unix time we get from here. Okay. And the start is uh, defined as the uh, since the, the the time right now minus uh, minus uh, some uh, de designated uh, amount. Okay. So in this example, uh, sixty times sixty times one. So uh, this will go back to uh, uh, 36, uh, 3,600 minutes. Okay. So uh, we will uh, request uh, uh, Bybit Exchange to give us the uh, candle information of uh, one minute since the uh, 3,600 minute ago. Okay. So uh, this, uh, this URL Will uh this is the address that uh we use to request uh Bybit server to give us candle information of uh of the information since the uh six uh three thousand six hundred minutes ago. So uh, this this uh, request command this will request the uh Bybit to give us the uh uh price information. And we are going to receive this in JSON file file uh, format. Okay. So let's test. So let's see. So this will give us this uh, information in JSON format like this. Okay. And we are going to use the uh, pandas to. Uh, uh, so that uh, we can play with it uh, in a more clear way. Okay, so if we put uh, uh, use this command, then D will give us uh, information in uh, pandas data frame format. Okay, and uh, we need the the most uh, recent price data. Okay, so. This uh, market uh, price will uh, request the uh, uh, last price of the uh, symbol that we are going to use from the uh, Bybit exchange. Okay. So I'm going to define price is equal to the last price. Okay. And we are going to use it uh, later. Okay. And I'm going to calculate uh, now. I'm going to need uh, what I need to. Uh, Calculate the uh, moving averages. Okay, so uh, and uh, for uh, moving average calculation, I'm going to use the close price. Okay, and uh, in this example, uh, uh, I will use the uh, there will be a two moving averages, and uh, the fast moving average is the uh, uh, moving average of nine, and okay? it goes. So it, this is the average of the uh, last nine uh, price data okay and the slow moving average will be uh, 26 okay so uh, we use the rolling function from the uh, pandas to calculate the uh, moving average okay so this is 9 and 26 okay so okay so uh, okay so there are Two moving averages. Okay, this is the uh, slow one. Okay, and okay. and uh, let's say uh, this is the red line is the fast. Uh, moving average and let's say uh in this case the fast 
uh, moving average crosses the uh, upward, okay, the slow uh, moving average. In this case, we call this a uh, golden cross. Okay. On the other, if the uh, this fast moving average cr uh, crosses downward, then we call it a uh, dead cross. Okay. Uh, and we want to uh, place a long uh, long order for a golden cross and short order on when there is a dead cross. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Okay. So uh, we need to do some uh, test. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, so uh, so this is the MA twenty six. Let's say and this is the MA nine. Okay, so there's a dead cross. Okay, in this case, uh. In this case, uh, the difference between uh, moving average 9 and moving average 26, this is the positive, okay? And later, uh, after a uh, uh, dead cross, uh, the difference becomes negative, okay? And uh, here, if you look at the test one, uh, calculates the difference between uh cross okay and test two calculates the uh, difference after uh cross happened okay so uh if the uh cross before uh i if the difference before uh cross is a uh, positive and later it becomes the uh negative then this is the uh uh dead cross okay on the other hand, the other hand, uh, this is a, a nine. Okay. On the other hand, if the difference is the uh, negative then becomes a uh, positive then you say there's a golden cross okay so if test one is the negative then and test two is a uh, positive then we say it, uh there was golden cross okay so this uh test one and test two are uh are here to uh test this uh whether there's a cross or not or, or and uh, also identify whether the cross is a golden cross or dead cross. Okay, so uh, this is the first part of the uh, explanation on uh, golden cross uh, model for uh, bybit exchange. Okay. Uh, I will come back with the second uh, video, which will uh, also talk about how to play, uh, place the order. Thank you.